So we're um, script writing today and we're trying to get together the basic ideas for the story which is quite manic because we've got 10 uh, script writers working all at once um, and they're busily now uh, having divided up the scenes and worked out what, who's going to do what and what scene they're now actually trying to write down some kind of script and the idea is that uh, Phil will take away the script at the end of the day uh, all the various different scripts and somehow he's going to mash it all together into this lean fit incredibly brilliant screenplay uh, which is going to turn up with it um, a couple of days tomorrow morning. We're just writing the two script for scene two. two. Okay, what's happening in scene two? Uh, the detectives are arriving. We're watching. Uh, watching. We're writing the last scene and the options to do it because we've got a debate of whether Cornelius, played by me, should escape or shouldn't. And when we have a discussion about it, we all of us are going to bring up the options. Because it's kind of like, does he escape or not? No, yeah, he gets exposed. And then it's like. Yeah, and then it's what happens next. So we're writing like the scene when it's first found out that I have been killed by something or someone. Like no one knows yet. And so it's basically like I'm calling a meeting and then I like everyone else is waiting for ages but I don't show up and then they come and find me and I have to be dead. My character is a foreign like a Spanish exchange student. My character is kind of like a mad scientist and he makes loads of like strange ghost hunty weapons and stuff and he has like these special goggles that allow him to see ghostly presence and stuff. You know, oh I wouldn't go up there, it's cursed, there's weird goings on. Like, and then the, 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 like, the reasons like, become ridiculous. There might be like a weird hippie doing yoga. <laughs> People do yoga up there. <laughs> I'm, so I'm like the one that just does it for the money and doesn't really care about anything. What's your name? Um, my name is Max. Yeah. More like, my name's Joe in real life. The character's Wendy. <laughs> she's, a, um, she's a psychic and has kind of a connection with the two twins that are in uh, their house. And where's Pink? Uh, I'm enjoying this year very much, yes. I'm especially looking forward to uh, shooting the green screen in the car. I think that's going to be a really good, uh, really good scene. What are we using the car for? Um, we are using the car for so the investigators are turning up to this kind of spooky haunted mansion. Um, so, and using green screen is something that we've done in previous years before, so it's nice to do something different in this film. Um, so yeah, we're going to film the investigators en route today. Behind us. Ask Jojo how she's feeling. Oh, 
are you feeling? <laughs> well, I'm quite excited. Well, I am a ghost. <laughs> I'm Myrtle, the ghost. And what's your part in the story? Can that, have, can that be well, I, I've heard can of that scene. Be up yeah. I'm the strange maid who shows the way before disappearing. We're just about to film the first scene, which is the journey in the car. I'm learning my lines, leave what me alone. Who are you? Well, the script was written last night by Prince uh, and all those ideas yesterday. And today they have started to film the first scene. Main filming starts tomorrow, I think, and a lot of costume design. Like, everyone's looking pretty snazzy so far, I would say. Well, today mainly we've been planning the animation. I started doing the um, animations because uh, that's when I end up killing one of the Grey family. Yeah. So that was actually really entertaining because like, we had to do a lot of planning and yeah. it took quite a while but it's going to have great results in the end and apparently it's like 1,200 photos you have to take and put together. Something ridiculous. I think my favourite part has definitely been the practice that we were doing with the hair movie. And what have you enjoyed most this week? <laughs> Probably just lying down. Recording? The red light's on. Yep. Yeah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Jojo. So, it's day three, isn't it? It's day three! Magically! And what are we going to do today or what have we done today? So today we are going into the house and the investigators are going to be exploring the house and the ghosts are going to be coming up with ways to spook the living daylights out of them. Um, so we've got some fishing wire, we've got a creepy dolly, we've got a skateboard, you know, We've got all of the equipment uh, in order to create some uh, nice, scary moments. My name is Max, I do behind the scenes, and the reason I do behind the scenes is because I hate acting, and... <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you guys have a say on everything in terms of the camera shots, the script, the characters, the equipment, the costumes uh, and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, it's a well-rounded project. <laughs> what is that? That's not scary. Is it health and safety now? <laughs> One thing that would scare me, and I don't know why they do it on horror films, where you're thinking, do not go that way because you know something bad's happened and they go that way. If I was stupid, which sometimes I am, and I was walking through here at night with a torch, and this girl here kind of glided for a room, that would scare the living day out of me. That's messed up. The doll, this thing, this thing, That would scare me if it kind of flew out of somewhere and hit me. Oh, hello. I'm Jaunty Barber. Not Jaunty Barber. Why did I say Jaunty Barber? Keep rolling. I'm Tom Barley, and what I like most about film school is the fact that you get to be who you are and like choose who you want to be because the sort of whoever you, your ideas are really helpful to everyone. And it, you can tell it all gets put into 
the film school, like everyone's ideas gets put into the film school and makes this great piece. And my favourite part is um, seeing everyone's ideas come together to make a great film. I have a creepy twin. And here comes your other creepy twin. Do I need to wear my thing? He's just being ridiculous. He can shove it. Oh, yeah. yeah. When we come to the pool, I think you better. Um, what's your favourite character in the film? I, th I think the Snooty Gray, um, Mrs. Snooty Gray is Mrs. quite Snooty good. Gray. She and um, Freya is making a really good, um, well, not good, a brilliant <laughs> yeah. performance. She's she's completely changed her voice. Oh, shut up, you hippie! I've got so many favourites that I, I don't think there's enough time to name them all. <laughs> My name's Phil. Uh, I'm co-directing this piece of rubbish. Uh, my favourite character is Zen, the slightly gothy, grumpy teenager who plays chess with the ghosts. Rolling. Sound speed. Sound speed. Thank you. Mark it. Scene two B ninety nine. Take one. Anteater. I'm really excited about this year's uh, story. I think it's the best story that we've had yet, which is. Wonderful, and maybe partially result because it's more of the, the students' ideas than, it, than it's ever been before. Yeah. Favorite moment so far? Um, 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 I don't know. I really liked doing filming Izzy yesterday, doing her uh, tarot reading, and the, the shadows on the walls were really wonderful, and the kind of the heat haze um, of the candles which looked really nice. I'm playing John Gray. I'm a ghost, which is pretty cool. I've never done that before. It's been really fun this year. Loads of new people, and it's just been really fun to act with everyone today. Well, this week. Okay. And um, what have you been doing? Well, today earlier I was filming a scene with Joe and Sarah and that. Rolling. And done a little bit. Cool. Cheers. Actually, I just need to say that that's um, this is Jude's close up. Take one, five, four. Good, thank you. One more. And now I'm about to do some voice acting for the animation. Uh, diary entry, animation, voiceover. Three, two, one. 19th of October, 1783. Ah, it was a success. We have hidden it, so they shall never find it. I like playing a ghost, it's quite like creepy and like you scare people, it's quite fun. Today we're doing lots of different activities, so um, some of us are working on a kind of cool end credits song. Um, some of us are going to be uh, doing some dance cho choreography later, I think. Right, there is Ed's beautiful dancing. <laughs> There's lots of filming going on, that happens most days anyway. <laughs> been doing today so far? I've been making a poem up and I've also been doing the animation. Keep going! We're here with Owen, okay, and he is a filmmaker. Okay, what brings you to film school this year, Owen? The money. The money? Mm. Okay. And uh, what have you been enjoying doing this week? Uh, going home. I will eat all of your souls. Oh no. Okay, hi, I'm here with Sarah White. She's looking at a script, pretending to look important. What's going on today, Sarah? Um, well, today, this is obviously uh, day five. Um, we're just wrapping up, we're getting the little pickups that we need. Um, we're just. The last day, it is, it's sad. How do you feel about it being the last day? I feel uh, that the, the last day is uh, always the best day. 
Why? Because we don't have to come back tomorrow? Well, maybe that, but also because everybody's having that big push to have a lot more fun. Yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, so, yeah, we're just filming a little scene which involves the investigators chasing uh, one of the family members out of the house. Um, so it should be just a short little pick-up, a couple of seconds, but, you know, it'll probably take an hour to do. Mum, I can't see the characters because the So, um, we're crewing this scene. Yeah, because we are, I mean, like, what, while we're they're doing that in the thing, we're finding gold. What do you think you're going to do when a ghost comes for you? Will you fist it head on or run and hide in the loop? What do you think you're going to do now? It's a better move house. Hello, Grace. What's your name? I'm Grace. Yeah. 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 The, uh, the technical term for me is production manager, and I basically go around doing whatever needs to be done. <laughs> I'm here with a member of the Snooty Gray family. What's your name? Cornelius. Cornelius. Okay, and what is your role in this film? The bad guy. The bad guy. Oh, the bad guy. Evil guy. Yeah. Yeah. And have you enjoyed playing a villain? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah. Um, I like the kind of one to one where I die yesterday, yeah. running around with a camera on my hands. Being chased by a camera. Really? Um, I'm falling in a grave. God, they're being buried alive. You've been through it this week. You've been through it. Tough time. Yeah, it's quite fun actually. Okay. If you could uh, just, um, yeah, crouch over for me, that'd be great. Crouch or kneel? Where your where your end position's going to be in terms of um, in terms of leering over the grave? Could you go to there? That's great, Ben. Just stay there. That's fantastic. One, Are we recording? Five, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Now. Until everyone's there before you throw the earth, Connor. No. Did you get nice. it? <laughs> Bullseye. Spot on. Bullseye. Peekaboo. I'm coming to get you. Better move house. They're coming for you. I said they're coming for you. 